from the Aberdeen Area Convention and Visitors Bureau and I am here with Jean from Aberdeen Parks, Recreation and Forestry and we kind of have a spooky event coming up well, this weekend. Well don't forget my friend here. Yeah, what's your friend's name? Yeah, I don't know, but he's not doing very good right now. But... No. <laughs> he's decapitated yeah, and he has no flash. So, like... yeah. <laughs> so what do we got going on this weekend? Well we've got the Haunted Forest coming up here this weekend so it's a Aberdeen tradition. Yeah, how long has it been going on? Long, long time. Like decades, Back in, right? the, in the early 80s, oh, I think fun. is when it started. So it's been a long time. So yeah. It is Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh begins at 6.30 and we quit selling tickets at 10.30 for the evening performances. And it begins right here at the pavilion yes. at Wiley Lake and Wiley Park. And so we really encourage people to come out and uh, park on the north side of the pavilion of the lake because there's a big parking lot there. Kind of the Thunder Road parking Thunder lot. Thunder Road is, is part of that. And, yeah. the, and the, it, it's a really good drop off pickup point, mm -hmm. well lit, always lots of parking. And so, so yeah, so that those are, that's a Friday, Saturday evenings. And then we've got the kids matinee beginning at, at one o'clock and going until three on Saturday afternoon. And that's for younger kids. They'll get the trick or treat with out in the park, get to see some of the things, but they won't be scared. Yeah. It's, it's more spooky than scary. Is it, yeah, so maybe even not too spooky. <laughs> they do get to see the, 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 some of the things that yeah. are out there, uh, get to go through the black hole, which is pretty cool, but they won't be scared. And so we really encourage people to, come, you know, if you're too young to come at night, make sure to come out for the end matinee and come dressed up in your costume, yeah. get to wear it again, you know? There's always like, I feel like you invest so much in those costumes and I love that there's like more chances to wear them because yeah. like, you put all that time and effort in, like whether well, you're a kid or an adult. So it's really fun to have those occasions. So. And it's, it's fun to see the kids all dressed up too, yeah. all excited, and it's really, it really uh, gives all the people in the, in the event uh, a really a boost to get to see the kids. That's pretty cool. And so, what time? You said six thirty till ten thirty is when you're yeah, selling be tickets. Out here. Friday yeah. and Saturday night. Correct. And we are selling advance tickets mm -hmm. at the Parks and Rec at the area. Federal Credit Union and the Dakota Bank and Cameroon Chiropractic. And so the advantage of the advanced tickets is that you get to bypass the ticket line and come right into the line to go through. So, nice. so it is a time saver. At the same price? Same price, nice. but it is a time saver. Yeah. So, and they're good for both evening performances. Oh, cool. Awesome. So Haunted Forest this weekend, and that is just one of several, several spooky, spooky season here. events coming up in Aberdeen. Right. Also this weekend is the Forest Drive Fright Night that is at Richmond Lake State Park. Um, it is a free event, but you do need a state, state park pass and you can get those um, for a day for $8 or you can invest in a year pass for 36. And that's a really good deal right now because the 2023 pass has just started. Um, so if you get a 2023 pass now, it's actually good until May 2024. So if you want to go to any state park in South Dakota, you can get that pass for $36 and make your first trip to um, Fright Night at Richmond Lake State Recreation Area. All right, and on October 28th is the Spooktacular Family Night at the Aberdeen YMCA. That is 6 to 8 p.m. and you can find more information on their website. October 28th and 29th, Angles Event Center is hosting a haunted house. You can buy tickets online and that is a 21 and over event. There is a family Halloween party at Eleventy that goes from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. on October 29th, and you can find out more information on their website. On October 29th, Automax is hosting a trunk or treat that will be out at the dealership on the east side of town. And there are several trick-or-treating opportunities on Halloween on October 31st. There is trick-or-treat on Main Street from 3 to 5 p.m., Trick or treat at the library at the K.O. Lee Aberdeen Public Library from 3 to 5.30 p.m. And then from 5 till 6, you can go trick or treating at the Uptown Aberdeen Mall. All right, everyone, let's go out there. Have a safe and fun spooky season this year in Aberdeen.